Chris Paul is one of the most pure point guards we have ever seen. At six feet tall, he has a tight handle, can run the offense like no one else, and he is a master at creating open shots for his team. It all starts with the pick and roll. CP3 is great at setting up his man in the pick and roll. He will force him into the screen to take him out the play. This is essential because it leaves the opposing big man to have to step up and help on Chris Paul. When Chris Paul sees the big step up, he will have his screener slip to the hoop hard. The defender stepping up will leave the big to roll to the hoop and Chris Paul will almost always feed him. He will do this with a bounce pass, feed them with a chest pass, and even lob it up to the rim for a dunk. When the roll man isn't open initially and the defending big man is trying to cover both at once, CP3 will normally attack the defending big man to create an open look for his teammate rolling to the rim. Watch here as he drives hard to the hoop, forcing the defender to take on CP3, leaving the screener wide open to roll to the hoop. And at times when he comes off the screen, he will get double teamed. But Chris Paul actually likes this because it leaves a teammate wide open. Like watch here, as Chris Paul gets doubled on the perimeter, it leaves the big man wide open to roll to the rim. Chris Paul feeds him to get an easy two points. And when Chris Paul gets downhill and attacks the big man, it leaves the opposite side help defender to make a choice. The defender either has to leave the big man open for a lob at the rim, or help over and leave his man open in the corner. When Chris Paul attacks the big, he will read this defender. Like on this play, Chris Paul comes off the pick and roll, and once he sees the help side start to shift over, he swings the ball across the court for an open three. And at times, he comes off the the screen and draws the big man out towards him. This leaves the big a wide open lane to roll to the rim. Here when CP3 gets the switch, he pulls back and starts to back up towards the three point line and allows the big to roll to the hoop and post up the smaller guard. And Chris Paul loves to catch the defense sleeping. CP3 is always looking to find open teammates. He will look for defenders not paying attention to find open shots for teammates. As CP3 is dribbling around the perimeter, the defense loses sighted DeAndre Ayton, and he moves to the middle of the paint to get an easy pass from Chris Paul for a layup. When Chris Paul comes off the screen, the defender on the wing is so focused on Chris Paul that he forgets about his man as his man backdoors to the rim. And when he's driving to the hoop, he likes to attack the gaps to draw defenders. This causes defenders to overhelp, leaving their man open for a shot. Like here, he attacks the gap on the left wing. This draws the defender towards him and lets his teammate backdoor towards the rim. Here, he drives right, attacking the gap, draws the defender towards him, and then kicks out to the wing for three. And he does this in transition too. In transition, he likes to push the ball up the court, attacking hard, drawing defenders towards him to open up shots for teammates. Like on this play, he pushes the ball up the court, he attacks downhill, and finds an open teammate trailing behind him for three. And Chris Paul likes to use a lot of fakes too. These can be shot fakes or pass fakes. He likes to deceive the defense to get them to jump. When they do this, it opens up opportunities for him to feed his teammates. Like on this play, he rises up for what appears to be a jump shot, but as he is fading away, he actually passes it in the air and lobs it to the big man. Or on this play, Chris Paul jumps in the air and fakes a pass towards the middle. When he sees the defense follow, he then adjusts his pass midair and swings it to the corner. Chris Paul is one of the most elite point guards we have ever seen. He excels in the pick and roll to set his teammates up to score. To do this, he must play with great pace. Chris Paul is never sped up and is always playing at his own speed. He comes off screens, timing everything up perfectly to set up his team. So if you want to see how Chris Paul plays with elite pace, click on this video right here.